work that we are doing in Astrium today is in the context of the CESAR program, um, specifically in airport operations management uh, of CESAR. We are conducting over three days six different exercises with different operational scenarios and we're asking the users to look at the information that they have and to assess whether that information is, is pertinent, whether it's really useful for them, or on the other hand is are we providing information which is perhaps not useful for them, so that we can then optimise the information flow for each specific user, so that each user has the information that they need at the right time to enable them to do their function. We're trying to create what we call an airport operations plan, which is a centralised information source. But the plan is also, it's a rolling, so it's dynamic plan, updated as a function of what the uh, user inputs into the system. And the system is also doing a number of automatic calculations and providing what we call alerts to the user to indicate to the user that an event that they may not be aware of is taking place so there's a constraint in a terminal for example which could be impacting their flight so they can then go and investigate see what is happening and take necessary actions to optimize their flights. There is a concept which is already in operation in a number of airports called collaborative decision making. And one of the key elements of collaborative decision making is information sharing. So we are simply extending that process and building on the collaborative element and hopefully improving the quality of the overall decision making. So this is a kind of CDM2 if you like. In Zurich we have uh, already for uh, just 10 years now the experience of uh, collaborative decision making. The tool we are testing here will allow uh, many airports to have the transparency and uh, as well the visualization of the processes uh, improved. The added value is that you have uh, better usage of the resources available and uh, in the end uh, each partner will have its uh, savings in uh, opting for the collaborative decision making. In what we call the validation life cycle we are moving from documenting our concept to actually performing simulation exercises or live trials. So it's performing exercises in a dynamic environment. We are convinced that this approach of what we call gaming is a correct approach to validation and we will continue in the future uh, with updating the system, taking into account the feedback that we, that we obtain and, and further optimising uh, the, the overall information sequence. <music>